everyone. My name is Hayley and I'm a proud Gukuyalanji woman, a descendant of the Western Sunset people of far north Queensland and English, Danish and Italian ancestors. I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Event Management here at ICMS. Hi, my name is Zali. I'm a proud Indigenous woman of Western Australia. I'm currently in my first year of studying hospitality management here at ICMS, as well as working at Novotel Mainly Pacific. In this great island home of ours, Australia, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians have lived and practiced their culture for tens of thousands of years. Today, each and every one of us who live on this great land can be a part of the continuing of these ancient cultures. By acknowledging the traditional owners of the land and waters on which we are standing. We would like to pay respects to all elders past, present and future. Good morning and welcome to ICMS Open Day 2021. It's fantastic to see you online today, and unfortunately we can't see you here at the famous castle on the hill, but nonetheless, today will be a jam-packed day full of excitement and interesting information for you to get your head around. My name is Phil Watson, and I'm the Vice President of Domestic and International Development here at ICMS, and it's my pleasure today to give you an introduction to ICMS and talk to you all things ICMS for your future career studying with us. So what will we go through today? Well, there's a few things. Firstly, I'm going to have a bit of a chat to you about mentorship and how your career development uh, can be seen in action. The ICMS courses we offer here, um, what uh, integrated learning uh, is and why it's so important for you in your development on your long uh, career over the next 20 or 30 years. Um, the key ICMS differences, I'm going to talk to you about something called the high academic places here at ICMS, which are very exciting um, and a great opportunity for you. Our fantastic scholarships and bursaries that are on offer, um, the accommodation and student experience, as well as the application methods and the next steps for you to take on your journey to study at ICMS. So let's get into it. We hear a lot today that people want to have a fulfilling and successful career. We work our whole lives to build that career. We work day in, day out to build that career that we're proud of and want everyone to know about. But what is a career? How do you define a career? And what does it mean to me? What does it mean to you? Importantly, it means different things. So let's have a look at some famous careers that we can use as examples to kind of highlight why careers are important to each and every one of us. Firstly, Barack Obama. Barack Obama obviously has a strong political career around the world. Everyone knows Barack Obama. Secondly, we have Ian Settler in, a global phenomenon in the fashion industry. Thirdly, we have Venus, uh, sorry, Serena Williams, uh, the sister of Venus Williams, a powerful, strong female athlete, and the last decade has been one of the most successful female athletes around the world. Oprah Winfrey, 25 years of unparalleled TV success, number one ratings, unbeatable for 25 years, a phenomenal career. Steph Curry, one of the best modern day basketball players in the world. Some regard him as the top shooter that we've ever seen in the NBA. And finally, Sheryl Strandberg, the COO of Facebook and also the first ever female board member of Facebook itself. So how do you set yourself up for a great career? What does it mean? How do you get in that world of being famous for your career, the steps you take to get there? Well, let's have a look at these famous careers again and what we'll find there is one common thing amongst all of these six people. It's not that they're famous, it's not that we know them around the world. The fact is, all of these six people have had a strong mentor in their career development to get to where they are today. So let's go through them one by one to understand who these people are. Firstly, Barack Obama. You may or may not know that Barack Obama's first significant mentor was actually Michelle Obama. They met at the law firm where they both worked together and Michelle was officially um, allocated to be Barack's mentor for his initial stage of working there. From there, their, their passion for law and politics grew and now we see the famous power couple today uh, that we all know as Michelle and Barack Obama. Secondly, Yves Saint Laurent, well, he was actually the assistant of Christian Dior. He worked with Christian Dior for about two years, and over that time, I knew and learned to grow and love fashion the world over. But that gave him his passion, and his mentor, Christian Dior, was one that inspired him to create the now famous YSL brand. Third, Serena Williams. Serena Williams had Zena Garrison, a very successful black US tennis player in her own right. She mentored Serena in the early stages of her career through to today. They can be seen hanging out many, many times. Oprah Winfrey had Maya Angelou, 
an American poet and civil rights activist. She mentored Oprah through her early stages of her career. Steph Curry has Chris Paul, regular contact and, and guidance in the NBA. And Cheryl Strandberg had Arianda Huffington, who, as I said before, is now the COO of Facebook. These successful careers all had people who had, were mentoring them through the ups and downs of the early stages of their career. Even today, many of them are still in contact with each other. And from that, they have built successful careers and it was a foundation to their future successful corporate career that they started in this way. So how does this all relate to you and ICMS? Well, you need to make sure you put yourself in an environment full of mentors. At ICMS, our guiding philosophy is that we are your professional mentor. Day in, day out, ICMS will be here to guide you on your journey to professional success. In this slide, you can see just some of the ICMS staff members that will be here to guide you each and every day from day one through to graduation, if not past graduation, in your professional uh, career. These staff members are here to mentor you in the small things, in the big things, and everything in between on your daily interactions between other staff, other students, and yourself together. It's inspiring each and every day to see in the corridors here at ICMS how staff and students interact to build their careers from day one. That has put us in a position where we are now Australia's leader of career-focused education. That is our goal at ICMS, to make sure you leave here in a career which is set up perfectly from day one. At ICMS, we have 10 cutting-edge courses for you to study here. Firstly, we have our Bachelor of Business. Secondly, we have our Bachelor of Business Entrepreneurship. We also have a Bachelor of Business majoring in Marketing. We also have an exciting degree, which is our Bachelor of Business majoring in Sports Management. We have a Bachelor of Business in International Tourism. We have a Bachelor of Business Management in Accounting. We have a Bachelor of Business Fashion and Global Brand Management, which you cannot find anywhere else in New South Wales. We have a Bachelor of Event Management. We have a Bachelor of Hospitality Management. And we have a Bachelor of Property Development, Investment and Valuation. All of these degrees are designed and set up so you have success from day one to build a strong and steady career over the next 30, 40, 50 years. And the thing to remember is that all of these degrees have a core business element to them, which means you may start in events, you may start in fashion, you may start in sport one day or property, but then in 10, 15 years, you have a career change. You can make that move with your career because you have a core business foundation to apply in any given situation. So at ICMS, how do we deliver compared to other people? Well, you need a degree that excites you, not others. You are the one that has to sit in your classes each and every day, doing your assignments, doing your assessments, interacting with others. So make sure you pick a course of study that excites you. Do something that you want to do. We have 10 industry-inspired and tested degrees. You want transferable skills that are lifelong to your career, not just to your industry. And all of our graduate capabilities are designed with your career in mind. So at ICMS, we have seven graduate capabilities that are designed for the 21st century. Things like agile leadership, innovating problem solving, being a global citizen are things you can take with you over your entire career. And they're not relevant only for the next four or five years, but they'll be relevant for the next 30, 40 or 50 years. At ICMS, we also set you up for success from day one. We have integrated industry relevant uh, material from day one for you. We've already spoken about the graduate capabilities, but we will design for you a student portfolio. So from day one, each of our students design a portfolio based on all their uni work, which they can take to potential, um, potential sorry, employers to show the, their success, show their development over the course of their studies here at ISUMS and show what sets them apart from other graduates at other institutions. We have active learning. So we have a living and breathing um, curriculum here at ICMS. The course and content develop over time. So if things change in industry, so does your curriculum. We're not stuck in the old ways of doing things. We're always on the cutting edge here at ICMS. And we also have a thing called backward course design. We don't start at the beginning and work the, and work the way out to the end of the course. We start at the end. We have found out from industry what you need to be successful, what skills, capabilities, you need to be employable by your industry. And then we have worked back from there, from graduation, all the way back to day one, each class, every single week, to ensure the content in your classes are what you need for industry. We also have built in real work experience that sets you apart from other graduates. Every student must complete a minimum of 600 hours compulsory industry placement here at ICMS. Because at ICMS, we remove the disconnect between you and employment. 
every ICMS student here is guaranteed work placement. Now this has got some focus recently in the media and universities are trying to play catch up. They understand now the power of having experience on your CV before you graduate in order to set you up for success for a long-term career. But this is not new for ICMS. We have been doing this since day one and we have over a thousand active work placement providers on our books across all of our degrees. So no matter whether you're studying property, fashion, sports, events, straight business or marketing, we have a place for you in industry guaranteed as part of your degree. Here you'll see just some of our uh, one, over 1,000 corporate partners and there are some pretty big names on this list. And we have been doing this for many, many years, as I said. Our connections are strong in this place. And even during COVID, we were able to place students uh, relatively with no problem because of how strong our connections are in this industry and in this space. So technology has made access to information alone no longer a game changer. Experience is now the most sought after asset on your resume. A recent study um, of employers said that 95% of employers said that candidate experience was the factor in their hiring decision. Nothing else, not their qualification, but experience. Employers want graduates with more than just good grades. And this means for ICMS graduates, I have a perfect example for you to give. Now I've gone to SEEK, found an entry level events job. And you can see here that everything on this uh, job description is relatively normal for an entry level uh, job. The important thing here that you have to remember is this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets confusing for you guys at the other end of the qualification process. This bit just here, it says that you need a minimum of two years work experience for an entry level job. That doesn't make any sense. You've just finished university, you're going for an entry level job, but they require two years experience. It doesn't line up. But that's where ICMS sets you apart. Because at ICMS, 90% of our uh, graduates have a job in their field prior to completion prior to graduation. And that comes down to our industry training program that sets you up for success from day one. We get you in industry with a real job, with a real boss, getting real experience, real runs on the board on your CV prior to graduation. So you can meet that key, that essential criteria for getting an entry level job uh, come graduation. So what else separates ICMS from other institutions? Well, at ICMS, we believe in more than the ATAR. We believe that you are a person and we believe the ATAR is not an accurate reflection of how you will perform in your career for the next 30, 40, 50 years. At ICMS, we'll take you through an interview process to add weight to your application because we can look at your subject marks plus interview to get a real understanding of how you are going to perform in your career and in class here at ICMS. We want like-minded students in class, not just intellectual students with 95, 99 ATARs. And yes, we do have those students and that is fantastic. But we also want students who are practical, hands-on and good with people and to make sure that they have a whole round experience while sitting in the classroom. We have a personal class size here at ICMS. We don't believe in lecture halls of three, 400 people. The biggest class here at ICMS is only 30 to 35 people, which means you can ask questions of your lecturer. You can talk to your classmates. You get to know your classmates. The friendships that you make in class day to day become your connections when you graduate. So at ICMS, you're building your network also from day one. We have a wide range of students from many different schools all across Australia that attend here each and every year. So you'll building, be building networks across Australia. We have multiple campuses. We have the Manly campus here, which I find myself on today. We also have our city campus, which is located right within the Capitol Street Theatre in the heart of the CBD. So as you can see here, these are our two campuses. So you can also have a, a flexible study pattern as well as a domestic student. You can be full-time or part-time. It doesn't matter which way you go. Just if you go part-time, it does extend uh, the length of your degree, but uh, part-time options are available for all domestic students. Our city campus uh, is available to all of our Bachelor of Business Management students, our Bachelor of um, Business Entrepreneurship and Marketing students as well. However, if you are studying one of our other uh, degrees, you can do your core business subjects in the city. But at the moment, your specialization subjects, so for example, a sports management student, your sports subject would be here at the Manly campus. Our city campus has easy access to trains, buses, light rail, all that kind of thing. It's about a three minute walk from Central Station. So what else sets ICMS apart? Well, keep in mind that ICMS only has a two to three day a week timetable. You won't be here nine to five, Monday to Friday. You'll have plenty of time for a job in and around your studies, for your social life and all that kind of stuff. You'll be here for about 12 hours a week. 
We have face-to-face -face, um, classes as well as online. Obviously with COVID, things are, are moving and changing slightly, but our goal is to have all classes back face-to-face -face as soon as possible, as we believe that learning environment is a better environment for you and your career. As I said, you have about 12 hours a week uh, in class. That does it. That's with a full-time subject load of four subjects with three hours per class, so 12 hours a week. If you reduce your subject load, obviously that changes the amount of hours you hear uh, on, on campus, but generally most students will get their timetable into two to maybe three days a week. As I said before, <clears throat> due to COVID, all of our classes are currently online in line with government regulations, um, but we do hope to be back face-to-face -face as soon as possible. And we expect for February 2022, we'll be back uh, with a majority of classes back here on campus. And finally, there's two big things that set ICMS apart. Firstly, you have a personal student advisor taking you through your entire enrollment process. The team here at ICMS will get to know you one-on-one. -on -one. You have a person to go to for all your questions, concerns, and thoughts throughout the entire process. And secondly, our professional mentor culture will mean that you're being mentored for your future career from day one. We all care about you and your future career. Importantly, when you graduate, our alumni network becomes your alumni network and you have contacts globally to reach out to and access for your own benefit, professionally and personally. High academic places at ICMS are something that have been around for a long time, but I'd like to draw your attention to them specifically. A high academic place is equivalent in value to a CSP at a public university. And a majority of these are awarded through the UAC process. They award roughly a 30 to 35% tuition fee reduction on your tuition costs over the course of your bachelor degree here at ICMS. Now keep in mind the criteria for this is we must be listed number one in UAC because the places are limited for high academic places, more commonly known as HAPs. So if you want to um, be in line for a HAP place at ICMS, we must be listed first in your UAC preferences. But that's not where we end in terms of giving back to students. We have an unparalleled scholarship program here at ICMS, and the numbers really do speak for themselves. Last year, we awarded almost $2 million worth of scholarships to both new and current students here at ICMS. And that's the important thing to remember. Even if you do or you don't receive a scholarship prior to commencement here at ICMS, you are eligible for further scholarships once you're a current student here. We don't use scholarships as a way to entice you to study here, to kind of make you say, yes, this is a place for me, because we believe the scholarships are given on a rewards basis for the, the contribution you're given prior to studying and also here at ICMS. Last year, we also awarded over $250,000 worth of scholarships to Indigenous Australians, which is a fantastic achievement and something we're very proud of. And please keep in mind, and you can talk to your student advisor about this, but we have additional bursaries available for all students, depending on your circumstance, financial hardship and those sorts of things. But I suggest you talk to your advisor about these bursaries and whether they're applicable to you or not. Now you can see here, these are all the ICMS uh, scholarships that are available uh, to new domestic students starting in February 2022. You'll see here that the ICMS professional scholarship programs have a scholarship available to every single course that we offer here at ICMS. Now keep in mind, more than one scholarship can be awarded for the, any category in the professional scholarship pool. So for example, if we have two or three uh, very talented, let's say, sports management students who are vying for a professional management scholarship in sports management, then we can award more than one scholarship. That's not a problem. So my recommendation to you is put your hat in the ring because you never know how you'll go. And the best thing that we can say is yes. Now you'll also notice here on the left-hand side, we have many corporate partners who have been with the program for many, many years. Now we only award one of these per um, corporate partner except for Host Plus which has one in events and sport management but nonetheless we suggest you put your hat in the ring for all of our scholarships available here at ICMS. Now keep in mind some people get a little bit confused with this process because they think I want to go for a professional scholarship and a corporate scholarship. How do I put the two applications in? All you have to do is put one application in and then our scholarship board will review your application on merit and then determine which scholarships you're eligible for uh, in that process. So don't stress, just put in one application and it makes you eligible for everything that you're available for. Now keep in mind applications are now open and there's a very strict cutoff for the scholarship program so please do not miss that cutoff. If you have any questions or concerns please speak to your student advisor or jump on live chat now to ask um, our really helpful staff any questions that you have. Living on campus, imagine living in this castle. It'd be pretty cool, huh? Well, ICMS has four main uh, accommodation options available to all students. Firstly, we have Moran House, which is what you can see behind me, the castle on the hill. We have students who live in this, in this building. We have Kelly House also on site here at ICMS. There are two on-campus facilities. 
We also have two more options based down in Manly itself, Wanganella House and Claremont Beach House. These are two off-campus uh, options available generally for second and third year students. Now the thing to keep in mind about the, the fee for accommodation, so your on-campus fee includes everything that you'll need to live on campus. The idea is that you can move in day one and move out at the end of term and never have to leave campus at all, no additional cost. And what that means for you is your rent's covered, three meals a day, Monday to Friday, two we uh, meals on the weekend, um, your, your room's clean for you once a week, <clears throat> free Wi-Fi, free parking, um, everything you need to live and survive on campus is included in your weekly fee. It's an unbeatable deal, especially considering you're living right overlooking Manly Beach. Now the student experience is obviously very important and we have world-class academics and support services here at ICMS. We have dedicated and passionate program managers which are, um, their job is to make sure the curriculum that you're studying each and every day is cutting edge and leading the field. And that's what they do. They also reach out to you when you have any questions and concerns about your program or your course. They're here to support you along the journey. We have industry experience and connected lecturers. Many, many of our lecturers are in industry right now whilst they're teaching. So they're not just people who have worked or want to work in the field that they're teaching, they currently do work in the field that they're teaching, which means the content that you're getting, the examples that you're getting in class are from industry and live up-to-date experiences. We have our Student Success Centre, which provides academic support both for our um, succeeding students, but also students who might need help in certain areas. And we also have Peer Assisted Learning, which, um, stand, which is called PALS, which is where students volunteer their time to mentor and tutor other students in their subjects uh, in the coming terms, which is a great experience to go through. So just so you understand ICMS and how big we are and how we fit into the picture, we have over 1,500 students uh, enrolled at ICMS. The breakdown is about 60% domestic, 40% international, and we have over 54 different countries represented on campus at any one time. And many of the flags you see today behind me are for students currently enrolled at ICMS. So the next big question is how to apply. It sounds fantastic. You realize this is the place for you and the environment that you need to be in to succeed moving forward in your career. Well, there's a few options, so let me run you through them. Firstly, you can apply directly. So if you jump on our website, this can be done at any time. There's an apply now uh, button which you can click on and complete that application form. You can get accepted based off your final HSC subject marks, not your ATAR. So we know this year is pretty crazy with COVID, so don't worry, there's flexibility in terms of if your final marks aren't quite what we need, we can look at your trials or we can look at your year 11 marks if we can show considerable um, disruption to your program uh, in the lead up to getting your final year 12 marks. So don't stress, we are understanding this year because of COVID. We understand it's not a perfect world this year. If you're applying for our September intake, this is the path for you. Don't worry about other application methods. This is the easiest and fastest way for, to ensure that we can get back to you quickly uh, for the term that starts very, very shortly. Now, what else is there? There's alternate entry. Now, there are three types of alternate entry that you need to be aware of. And sometimes people get a little bit confused of these differences. There's three things, as I said, there's early entry, there's leadership entry, and there's elite athlete and performer pathways. These essentially are all the same, but we just use different criteria uh, to assess your um, eligibility for these pathways. Early entry is based purely on your year 12 trial marks. Now we know this year that year 12 has been thrown around a lot, particularly trials, so don't stress. We also look at your final um, other year 12 marks from earlier in the year and year 11 marks if we need to as well. We have written references from your um, careers advisors and other supporting documentation as well to really get a full picture of how you fit into the picture here at ICMS. We also have an interview with you for all three of these pathways so we can understand you as a person, not a number. If you're coming through the leadership uh, pathway, it's the same process as early entry, but we also factor in things like your uh, leadership roles as school captain, as a prefect. But not only at school, like sport captain and that kind of thing, we can also take into consideration leadership roles you've held within the community. So if you do have those roles, make sure you put them in your uh, application so we can understand this through the uh, enrollment process. And finally, elite athlete and performer. If you've uh, performed or been an elite athlete um, at a state or national level, then we can also factor this in um, to your application process. We just need proof from your coach or your sporting body of the commitment that you've made to those sports uh, over the last 12 to 24 months. Now the important thing here is we also don't look at your ATAR. Now we do check your final year 12 marks, uh, even if you do get in on early entry. We don't want someone going from, let's say a 70 or 80% average uh, in their trials uh, to a 20% average uh, in their final marks because the final exams do still matter. So we still need you to make sure you focus through to the end of year 12. But this is a really important way and an easy way to remove some stress from your final HSC exams. 
Finally, there's a UAC application process. <clears throat> now this is the most common and most well understood uh, application process there is. However, I just want to make sure you understand how it works for ICMS. You must include ICMS as your highest UAC preference to be eligible for a course. Because of the demand here at ICMS, and as I spoke about our smaller class sizes and personal connection with students, we often don't get below our first preferences in the UAC system. So that means if you really want to study here, we need to be number one in ICMS for you to receive, hopefully, an offer uh, in the December uh, main round. Now keep in mind, if you jump into UAC right now and you already have an account and we're not number one, you won't be able to change your preferences until the 12th of August. It's currently shut for processing. So jump back in on the 12th to update your preferences. If you don't have any UAC preferences at the moment, you can go in right now and create a UAC account and put ICMS as your first preference. And you can put down more than one ICMS course in your preference list as well. You can also attend an interview to add weight to your application. So as I said, we can understand you as a person. And then hopefully in the December round two, we can send you an offer uh, based on all these criteria put together and you can accept your place to study here in February, 2022. And keep in mind with UAC, the benefit of that is also our high academic place here at ICMS. So if you want to be eligible for a high academic place, ICMS must be listed number one in UAC. And UAC also uses the school recommendation scheme, which ICMS is a part of, so that is also a factor for you to consider. So here is a summary of how to apply. There's direct application, there's early entry and leadership, there's elite athlete and performer, there's a school recommendation scheme, and there's also UAC, where ICMS should be listed as your highest UAC preference. Now keep in mind, you can apply through all of these channels and get in on all of these channels. That's fantastic, and a lot of students do do that each and every year. So it's up to you how many shots you want to have and how much certainty you want to have to make sure you've gotten into ICMS because we know the demand is high each and every year. And this year is in a bigger year of year 12 graduates than previous years, so it's important that you understand that as well. So here is a summary of the key next steps that you need to take to ensure you get successful entry into ICMS. Firstly, update your UAC preferences. As I've said, if you already have a UAC account, you can't do that until the 12th of August. But when the 12th of August rolls around, make sure you jump in and update your preferences to make sure ICMS is listed number one in UAC. I wouldn't want you to miss it out in a place simply because you didn't update your UAC preferences. Secondly, make sure you've applied for early entry, leadership, and or elite ent uh, entry pathways, because those do close shortly, and I wouldn't want you missing out on those opportunities either. Take some stress out of your final HSC exams. Make sure you've started your scholarship application and get the paperwork up and running for those as well because there's a little bit of work to do there, but I strongly recommend this program because it's highly rewarding for those that are successful. And even the people who aren't successful, the experience that you gain from going through that process is second to none. And finally, if you have any questions today, make sure you reach out to us at any point, but importantly today, jump on the live chat to talk to our student advisors who can help you with any questions that you have now or into the future. So I just wanted to say thank you for joining me here today at ICMS Open Day 2021. It's been fa fantastic to see so many people joining online to experience ICMS in a virtual forum. From start to finish, you will experience a different experience here at ICMS, but that's the way it's meant to be. It's meant to set you up for success for your future career, and you'll be building a career from day one. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy Open Day 2021 here at ICMS. Stay around, go to as many sessions as you can today, and make sure you jump online to chat to our friendly student advisors moving forward. Thank you, and have a fantastic day.